The holidays are over. You have eaten way too much, or like me, you've been eating for a lifelong of way too much. And you're wondering what you do with those leftovers. For me and I, my family, I cooked a 25 pound bird, a heritage bird, it was crazy. And I had probably, I don't know, eight pounds left of it, which is ridiculous. So we're gonna be making something I've never even made today. But this is something you can do for your leftovers from Thanksgiving. Today we're making turkey pot pie. Now the first thing we have to do is get our casserole dish right here. We're making this turkey pot pie. Again, baking and me do not go well together, but those yeast rolls turned out pretty good. So we're gonna try our hand at some leftovers for Thanksgiving. Something you can do that is simple. Now you're gonna take just a sliver of butter or stick of butter, whatever you have, right? And you're gonna take it and we're going to grease the bottom and sides of the dish with the butter. Now we're gonna set this butter aside because we will be using this later. Take our casserole dish and I have already pre-shredded some of that chicken breast and dark meat together in there. We even got some of the skin in there. You mean, we're just, you mean turkey breast? What did I say? Chicken breast. Yeah, turkey breast, sorry. <laughs> we're gonna dump that all on the bottom. That is a lot of turkey. But I went ahead and I shredded this on my KitchenAid mixer just by dumping it all in there, have the paddle attachment and then it Spun it around, boom. Quickest way to separate meat. Next step is you gotta take some mixed vegetables here. Any kind you like, I like bird's eye, they do good stuff. And you're literally just gonna dump it on top, spread it around. You got all the flavors of Thanksgiving in there, corn, green beans, carrots, all that goodness. We take one can of cream of chicken soup. And we're gonna dump that in here. Just like this. Now we're gonna take two cups of chicken stock. Now I chose stock over broth because stock is a little bit more flavorful. So we're using chicken stock, you can use turkey stock, whatever you want. We are going to take this and mix it in the bowl right here. And then just whisk it together. Then you're gonna take your mixture Pour it over. Now here is the secret to this recipe. So far we have, you know, about 90% of it done. But we're gonna make our top layer of crust with some Red Lobster Cheddar Bay Biscuits. That's right. First thing we're gonna do is get two cups of milk and pour it in the bowl. And then we're gonna take a whole bag mixture and mix it in with this two cups. Save the flavor packet, because that's gonna be added later. Mix the whole bag in. Perfect, just like me. And of course, for Cheddar Bay Biscuits, we cannot forget the cheddar. Is that, a, is that enough for you? I think so. She likes a lot of cheese. Then you're gonna take this mixture and pour it over the top. Now, your mind might tell you we need to mix these two things together, and the answer to that is no. Do not mix these together. You want layers like this. That's just what the recipe calls for. Lastly, we're gonna flavor it up a little bit. I got a little Cosmo Q Dirty Bird. We're gonna just punch along the top here. Of course, we gotta add our own barbecue flavor mix. And then, to knock it up another notch, we're gonna bring in some of the best garlic jalapeno because these are garlic and butter biscuits. So the jalapeno just adds a little bit of kick. Perfect, just like me. So we're gonna be smoking this on the Monument Girls pellet smoker at 400 degrees for 25 minutes. Let's step outside. I have had this thing running for about 30 minutes right at 400 degrees, running some Bear Mountain pellets in there. We're gonna lift it in like we did with the yeast rolls. 
We're gonna bake this for 25 minutes. We'll see you back here then at just the snap of a finger. We're gonna let those roll and then we're gonna come out and see how it looks. So it took a little longer than 25 minutes. Um, the recipe I read said 25 minutes. That's not accurate. Let's say it was closer to 50 at 400. So here is the end result. It looks a little soupy, to be honest with you. Uh, but hey, we're going to try it out and see how we did. We'll see you inside. And this, ladies and gentlemen, is the finished product. We have a beautiful crust on top. If you see here all the rosemary kind of around, we went ahead and added that butter flavor packet, the garlic, rosemary, whatever, with a, about three tablespoons of butter in there. And we went ahead and poured that all over and we let it cool for probably 10 minutes. So now is the taste test. We're gonna see how it tastes. I wanna make sure I get a lot of flavor in there, so I'm gonna go this corner right here. It is definitely soupy. But you can see all the ingredients in there. All the turkey, casserole should not be this soupy. Making sure I get some of the Cheddar Bay biscuits, some of the mixed vegetables and the turkey. And here we go. It's still hot. That's not bad. That's really good actually. But you have a lot of that smoke flavor from the, from the pit barrel when I cooked it. The Cheddar Bay Biscuit's nice. You can have just a hint of the uh, garlic jalapeno in there. The Dirty Bird, I don't really taste much, but this has a really nice smoky flavor to it. It smells great with the rosemary. It's very aromatic. And we have the mixed vegetables in there because, you know, you want to be healthy. Mm. Very good, though. I'm going to finish this up. But this is how you make a simple turkey pot pie with your leftovers from Thanksgiving. Until then, make sure you eat well, you do well, subscribe to our channel, and make delicious bomb food like this, and it'll turn out perfect, just like me. We'll see you next time.